क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑन मैक्सिमा एंड मिनिमा लेट अस स्टार्ट विद प्रॉब्लम नंबर 13 A box with square base is to have an open top. The area of the material for making the box is 192 square centimeter. What should be the dimensions in order that the volume is as large as possible? We need to make a open box. Now open box is cuboidal in shape. Let us consider a cuboid. they have told you to make a open box with square base the base of the box should be square it means all side should be equal therefore we can consider the side of the square as x cm also the area of the box should be equal to 192 square cm here the area which we are going to use will consist of only five faces that is base will be one face the front and the back will be two more face and the two sides on the either side there will be two different faces since it is open from the top we have total five faces therefore the area which we are going to calculate will be the area of this five faces now let us assume that side of the square is equal to x so this becomes x also the height of the box will be equal to x now to start with the sum it is given that the area of the total box should be equal to 192 square cm area of the box is equal to 192 square cm the base of the squares we have considered it as x and the height can be considered as x1 or simply you can also take it as y therefore area of the base or area of the box is given as 192 square cm let us assume that length that is this side is equal to x cm breadth is also our x cm and height we have considered it as y cm now to find the area of the box we have five different faces area of the base since it is a square area of the square is side square that is x into x will give you x square plus the area on the side face if you see this side its one side is x and the other side will represent height that is y and area of rectangle we know it is x into y that is xy so this will give you xy again on the right hand side we have the same rectangle its area will be also xy also on the front side we have the front face whose length is x and again the breadth is y therefore its area will be also xy and its back face will be also xy this becomes the area of the five different faces that should be equal to 192 square cm x square plus xy plus xy plus xy plus xy will give you 4xy that is equal to 192 cm square now let us see the next step area was x square plus 4xy is equal to 192 now we need to maximize the volume and volume of a cuboid or volume of a cube is length into breadth into height for that we need to convert length the breadth and height in a single variable that is x let us see how to convert y in terms of x we have this expression we can write x square minus 192 is equal to minus 4xy if we take minus 4x on the left hand side we have x square minus 192 upon minus 4x is equal to y therefore taking minus sign common in the numerator we have y is equal to minus of 192 minus x square upon 
minus 4x that will give you y is equal to 192 minus x square upon 4x so we have converted y in terms of x now let us see the volume volume is given as length into breadth into height length was x breadth was also x and height was y this becomes x into x x square and the value of y we are going to substitute is 192 minus x square upon 4x here if you see 1x will be cancelled this will give you volume is equal to x into 192 minus x square upon 4 on separating this 4 to both the terms we have x 192 upon 4 minus x square upon 4 that will give you x into this is 4 1 the 4 4 the 16 3 carry on this becomes 32 and 4 8 the 32 48 minus x square by 4 multiplying x to both the terms we will get volume as 48x minus x cube upon 4 now our equation is ready to check for maximum or minimum volume step number one differentiating above function with respect to x derivative of v will give you dv by dx 48 into derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of x cube will be 3x square upon 4 as it is dv by dx is 48 minus 3x square upon 4 step number 2 consists of equating dv by dx to 0 in step 2 dv by dx is equal to 0 that is 48 minus 3x square upon 4 is equal to 0 this will give you 48 is equal to 3x square upon 4 4 will be multiplied x square will be 48 into 4 divided by 3 if you divide here 3 with 48 this will give you 3 1 za and 3 16 za x square will be 16 into 4 and x square will be 64 taking square root x will give you 8 here we cannot consider the square root of 64 as minus 8 since we have already considered x as a side and side cannot be negative therefore i am considering only positive square root therefore x the value of x is 8 centimeter now we will proceed for the next step whether for the given value x is equal to 8 centimeter volume is maximum or minimum for that we need to find the second order derivative in step number 3 dv by dx was equal to 48 minus 3x square upon 4. Differentiating the above function with respect to x, we have d2v by dx square is equal to derivative of 48 will be 0 minus 3 by 4 is a constant. Derivative of x square will give you 2x. 2 1 za, 2 2 za. This will give you minus 3x upon 2. If we substitute the value of x that we have obtained as x is equal to 8, we will get minus 3 into 8 upon 2. That is equal to minus 24 upon 2 which is minus 12. Minus 12 being greater than 0, we can say volume is maximum when x is equal to 8 centimeter now in the question they have asked you to find the dimensions of that box we have seen length was x breadth was also x and the value of height was y which we have always which we have already converted in terms of x that was 192 minus x square 
upon 4x. Further, we have length as x, the value of x is 8, breadth will be also 8, and y will be equal to 192 minus 8 square upon 4 into 8. This will give you length is equal to 8 centimeter, breadth is equal to 8 centimeter, and height as 192 minus 8 square is 64 divided by 4 into 8 is 32. On further solving, 192 minus 64 will give you 128 upon 32. If we further divide it by 32, that will give you 4 centimeter. Therefore, length, breadth and height of the box is 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter and 4 centimeter respectively. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda.